it's race day and it's raining but they haven't called it they have not canceled the race 15 minutes ago as of 15 minutes ago they have posted saying we're they're still racing the, the races are still on there's sun the sun is out two hours and 20 minutes till you know they're supposed to start that's enough time I don't know. We get the car on the trailer. We want to race. We're already, we're already this far. We, we're fueled up. Yeah, for real. So we'll see. We got several miles to go anyways down this road. Maybe it's not raining down there. We're at the track, technically. 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 We're here, wristbands are on, but if you can't tell, we are in line for the pits because some of us can't drive in the mud. The first couple people to show up here were a couple sprint car trucks and they're like these sleepers, big sleeper homes. They're super cool, but they don't want to drive in the mud, so they're just kind of waiting in line and we're all the way back down to the road. Way back there, just We've been sitting here for what? An hour now? Probably almost an hour. It is what it is. Hopefully we get to race. There seems like they're cleaning up the track a little bit. I already uh, got the battery changed. We, yeah, we were waiting in line. Caleb was like, all right, I'm just going to change the battery <laughs> while we're it's good. Fire over here. Fire, fire's right up now. Like a dream. So we'll check back in with you guys when we actually get to our pit and we can move. go from there. Okay. <laughs> Race time's coming up. We got one more heat before it's yours. You can hear them? I can hear them. Nice. So race receiver's working. Everything's good. Tech guy talked to us. A couple things. We need, we need to get some safety things for this. All of the bars. You're looking through a cloud. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, lovely. Yeah. I guess it's better than looking through dirt, though, at the end of the lift, uh, race. Yeah. All right. Uh, plan is try not to die. Um, turn left. Um, yeah, see what this whole dirt thing's about. That's going to be interesting. I'm nervous. Like, super nervous. I don't blame you. I'm nervous for you, man. Don't think, just do. Don't think, just do. <laughs> Weston Smith and Richard Frisbee. Your field as they head down into turn three, wrapped up. As we get ready to take the green for compact heat number two. And we will see the green flag here. And off the good jump early, Joel Thiebel around the outside makes a three wide for the lead. He's going to now be going for second as Frisbee gets cleared for the lead. And Thiebel now going to get a nice run up in turn two and take the lead over Great coming within Corey Bridges. Good looking for third. On that outside as well. That outside looks pretty hooked up tonight. And Pritchett now looking for the outside of the 4K. He's going to be looking 
like he's picking up speed. basically just be kind of doing a burnout on my right front and it would just kind of push on dirt it's very sticky and it feels way more controlled like everything i can you can feel when the car is going to slide a lot uh i don't know a lot, a lot easier you can feel it a lot smoother you're feeling um i don't know kind of hard to, to explain but uh way stickier than i thought that's my first impression first time in two years cody it's been two years since i've been wheel-to-wheel -wheel racing two years and it's so much fun. But uh, I could have just kept doing laps. Like, I was happy just trying to push the car. Like, I'd be happy coming out and just driving until I ran out of gas. Like, just seeing how fast I could go and keep, keep going and keep going and keep going. But I, I think we got something here. Um, I obviously need to figure out how to drive. Um, but the more seat time I get, I know the better I'll get and the more comfortable I'll feel. Um, because yeah, it's something else. And all the guys said that was a really, really sloppy, really loose track. And I was like, wow, this is really sticky. So if it gets stickier than this, we'll have to up the speed a little bit because I never got out of second gear and I only went full throttle like maybe the last part of the last two laps. The last lap, I gave it definitely a little more beans. Um, so wheel speed is a thing that can happen a lot more when you get more power into this because I was just kind of cruising around and was right there. I think we probably could have caught up in another lap. Um, and they passed the guy in front of us. So, goal for the next, next uh, the feature, goal for the feature, 20 laps, not just eight. So, goal is gonna be, don't come in last, pass at least one person, and not two. That's gonna be my goal. And obviously, don't wreck, so, do it. Bit of a restart on that last one there. There you go, man. Green flag is in hand, and the green flag waves for your IMCA Sport Compact. The 95 gets another heck of a launch, the 34 falls to third, and it is a Smart, take it easy in the first laps. There you go. Already following deep like two, and Brady Lorenz has a massive lead. Starting the 
one for six was three wide there for just a moment between the 34, 43, and the 4 K cars. But Jim Garrison right now. a heck of a race when we go green flag racing and there it is it looks like bishop gets the best start of the ball bishop looks high on
racing action lap from Justin West. That's the leader right behind him, I think. Cody lost his shoe, so we, we think that I got seventh. Um, I'll check on my phone, but we, we think I got seventh. I hope the in-car footage wasn't just absolutely terrible, but uh, yeah, I, I'm going to go find the other car that I, I hit say sorry, but that was a blast. I was full throttle, like dang near the entire time, like cause I got holding it further and further and further to see how I could do it in the corner. And that, that was that was nuts. Um, I was making noise. Yeah, I was you were screaming. Making noise. I was screaming. You were screaming, shooting flames. I was like, woohoo! Not big flames, but I could definitely see them. Yeah, you could, you could see flames oh, from yeah. the stands. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, it's smoking. We're gonna drive her till she dies. Yeah, there's mud everywhere. Yeah, look at this. Uh, Hold on. There we go. Mud everywhere. Look at the mud build up. Oh, let's go around to the other side. Talk about what happened. Oh yeah, let's is how bad is there damage? How bad's the damage? No. No, just, this side looks cleaner. <laughs> well yeah. Look, not I don't know where we tapped. I don't know. I thought you tapped on the front. No, it was the butt. No, it must have been right here. This is dented in a little bit. Yeah, just oh. a little. Just a little bit. I think I tapped him. Not bad. Alright, so that's a... Uh, that's it. Um, I'll say it again once we figure out where uh, where we lined up at. Alrighty, guys. So next day, still raining. Look at the uh, the aftermath here. She's covered in mud. Just look at that. Loads of mud. I mean, it's caked in there so hard. <laughs> like the shock builds it up. That's great. <laughs> it's like running slicks anyways. All the dirt that's on them. I mean, it's everywhere. Just completely covered. Huge bits of it. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. So I, I absolutely had a blast. I had a ball. It was so much fun. Ugh. Officially, I did get seventh place. Um, yeah, we watched the video and then we looked at the results. And yeah, seventh place. So I'm I'm pretty stoked with that. Uh, started in 11th. There was 12 guys that came out um, this weekend to do it, and I started in 11th in the heat, and then excuse me, at the heat in the feature, in the 20 lap feature, and then yeah, we I guess two guys DNF'd, or they didn't finish, or they were just way behind me. They I don't know what happened, and then we passed at least two guys. So, so the place, hell yeah. So the next race at here in Billings isn't until like July 6th, 7th, or 9th, something like that. 
Um, but there is a race up in Belgrade, which is near Bozeman, Montana. Um, we might go to that one. Also, Daytona, a little brother, he is now, he was there. He helped strap it all down and everything. He caught the bug a little bit watching it. Cody, we know, already caught the bug, so now we have two more cars to build. So we're trying to find some cars, either pre-built um, and modify them. I would like to get two more Cavaliers. That way we just all share, share the same parts. Um, but if not, the Fords do work. Cody really wants to drive the Ford. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm considering the little black Focus that I bought even, using that and stripping that down to build just one too. But uh, yeah, it was pretty competitive. I'm very happy with that. Um, in the straights, it was definitely as fast as pretty much anything there, especially like the guy that won last night, the guy that we tapped. It's the, the Red Lightning McQueen car. Um, so yeah, I'm very, very excited that it has the speed. So I'm gonna try a third gear next time and we're gonna see if we can keep more speed through the corners and everything like that. But thanks for watching guys. I hope you guys are enjoying our circle track racing now on the dirt. Hopefully we get a couple more cars ready so then that way we can just do it. It's good cheap fun. Go find one. If you're here local in Billings or in Montana, anywhere around Billings or Belgrade or even Sheridan, Wyoming, we're gonna go down and race there too. They have this IMCA Sport Compact Sport Compact Class. Has to be like 2.2 2, 2 liter and below. Has to be front wheel drive, can be auto or manual. No variable cam timing, no VTEC, nothing like that. But yeah, simple front wheel drive, four cylinder. Strip it out, put a cage in it. Enjoy, have fun, not really allowed to mod it in any way. Dirt track running these tires, you're good to go. So like, share, subscribe. We'll see you guys next time. Thank you.